Hey everyone, Dale with Pacific Sun Technologies. I'm excited to tell you the good news. Solar is going to be number one, yes, number one in the US for new 2021 electricity generating capacity. The addition of the utility scale solar capacity is expected to set a new record by adding 15.4 gigawatts of capacity to the U.S. grid in 2021. The U.S. Energy Information Administration, the EIA, announced this in January. Solar leads the 2021 pack with 39% of total new U.S. electricity generating capacity. It's followed by wind at 31% or 12.2 gigawatts, natural gas at 16% or 16.6 .6 gigawatts, and battery storage with 11% or 4.3 gigawatts. Of course, there's nuclear power at 3% or 1.1 gigawatts, and there's other at 0.2 gigawatts. 2021's expected 15.4 gigawatts of solar will exceed 2020's nearly 12 gigawatt increase. Based on reported additions through October, 6 gigawatts and scheduled additions for the last two months of 2020, which was 5.7 gigawatts. Four states will be home to more than half of the new utility scale solar photovoltaic capacity. So Texas comes in first at 28%, huge shift for Texas. Nevada, 9%, California, 9%, and then you got North Carolina, 7%. Now, Texas will host the largest solar project in the United States. I mean, Texans, you guys go big or go home, I guess. The Samsung Solar Energy Center, which will be constructed in five phases, over the next three years, with each phase commencing operation upon completion in 2023. That's pretty dang impressive, Texas. But our push for renewable energy doesn't stop with solar. Another 12.2 gigawatts of wind capacity is scheduled to come online in 2021. Last year, we did 21 gigawatts of wind, which came online, so that's, that's pretty good. Natural gas is a cheap but dirty fossil fuel. Planned natural gas capacity additions are reported at 6.6 .6 gigawatts, mainly in Texas. So Texas, I mean, you're doing good. And then, you, you yeah, I mean, you got a lot of gas, so I don't blame you. Uh, but it also Ohio and Pennsylvania are, you know, leading in the natural gas section. And finally, battery storage. This is something the grid seriously needs. We make all this renewable energy, we got to store it. And the EIA expects the capacity of utility scale battery storage to more than quadruple. 4.3 gigawatts of battery power capacity additions are expected to come online by the end of 2021. This is because battery storage goes hand in hand with green energy. We make all this renewable power, we gotta store it in something. That's just how it is. Now, you can help promote clean energy by switching to solar or getting a battery backup system for your existing solar system, or if you haven't gone solar, you can get a solar plus battery system. Either way, you can get a quote from us by visiting us online by using the link in the description below. We have an amazing hassle-free quote. We have some great promotions going on, and guess what? You're not gonna wanna miss this. So, thanks for watching. Until next time.